Hello, McKinney Boyd Broncos. Thank you for joining us today. We are going to go ahead and talk about the eclipse and kind of what that day is going to look like. On April 8th, 2024, a total solar eclipse will cross the United States, providing an exciting and breathtaking opportunity for observation and science. A total solar eclipse happens when the moon passes between the sun and earth, completely blocking the face of the sun. People located in the center of the moon's shadow when it hits earth will experience a total eclipse. The sky will darken as if it were dawn or dusk. All MISD students and staff will receive ISO certified glasses to view the solar eclipse. Your teacher will pass them out when you get outside. When totality occurs, glasses can actually be taken off, so then you can take in the full experience of totality in the daytime. This experience is truly once in a lifetime. It will only last three minutes, and the glasses will need to be worn again after totality to view the solar eclipse safely. We will not be collecting the glasses back, so these are a souvenir to commemorate the phenomenon you just witnessed. Okay, let's talk about eye safety. Never look directly at the sun without eye protection. Sunglasses do not count as eye protection, even the dark ones. You need solar viewing glasses, which is, are sometimes called eclipse glasses. Otherwise, the sun can permanently damage your eyes or cause blindness. The only time you can take off your eye protection is during the brief duration of totality. During a total solar eclipse, it is important that you do not take them off, otherwise you will miss the beautiful corona. The corona is only about as bright as a full moon, so it's perfectly safe to observe with the naked eye, but always keep your eye protection on. During any partial phase of the eclipse, you have to keep it on for the entirety annual eclipse. Keep in mind, solar eclipse viewing glasses cannot be worn while walking. It may work best for your teacher to carry their set of glasses and pass them out once students get to their arrived viewing spot. If you are a student driver, these glasses cannot be worn while driving. This is what we all need to look at, look like when we go out to look at the eclipse. Um, it is super important. Actually, it's a non-negotiable. Um, you know, and I know that sometimes we have to go out there and do our own research to see if what the adults are saying are true. Um, but you will find everything out there research-based that it could harm your eyes um, if you were to look at the eclipse without. It is magnified um, and it could do permanent damage. Um, it may even be damage that you don't know at the time, um, but later on. So it is going to be a non-negotiable. You are going to have to have the glasses on. just enjoy it have fun I know that sometimes you know when we're 14 to 18 we may not think that this is a big deal um, but it is a big deal and it's not gonna happen you know in our lifetimes again probably um, there may be some other kinds of eclipses that we get but just enjoy it and have fun and you know see it for what it's worth it's gonna be a really awesome experience um, and so it's, it's just one of those fun events that doesn't happen very often the duration for totality of the eclipse in McKinney will be from 1.40 p.m. to 1.45 p.m. At this time, we are about to head to the parking lot to experience a once-in-a-lifetime event, a true phenomenon. Let's be respectful of one another and follow directions to experience a safe viewing of the solar eclipse.